biochar is not a new material necessarily, but it's becoming uh, an increasingly popular or interesting option uh, as an additive for soil, for potting mix, for compost. Um, and it is essentially very similar to charcoal, except it is produced with the goal of using it in soil. And so a lot of the properties may be specifically designed uh, to be good for that purpose. So it's basically just charcoal with a different purpose. It can be made from a lot of different things, and that's actually something really important to look into before purchasing your biochar. Think about what you're using it for. So biochar made from different materials. Um, it can be made from basically any kind of waste uh, plant material. So wood, grass, uh, walnut shells, which is actually some of what I have. And all of those different kind of materials that it can be made from impact what type of biochar you get out. So, and it has a wide range of applications. Some of the, some of the issues that it can help address with your soil uh, are really anything from if you have too sandy of a soil, if you have a soil that's been compacted, if you have a soil with low pH, if you have a soil that is just kind of low fertility in general. So because it has such a wide range of applications, you need to do your research before purchasing anything. So biochar made from a material like wood is generally going to have the highest carbon content, which is good if you're trying to increase organic matter in your garden uh, and biochar produced from other materials like compost, grasses, um, and other plants uh, may have slightly higher nutrient content and may have a little bit more porosity. Uh, some of the other parameters are what happens after the biochar is made. Uh, there's a really wide range of biochar size. So again, this gets into what you're using it for. If you're using it to amend a sandy soil, so that you can have a little bit better water retention, a little bit more uh, organic matter in there, you're going to want to look for a biochar with smaller particle size so that it can help really aggregate that soil and do what you want it to. If you're looking for it as an option as a bulking agent in a potting mix, as something to add to your compost, or as something to mix into a really dense clay soil or to remedy compaction, you're gonna to wanna to look for a biochar with larger particle size. So something up to maybe four millimeters. So biochar is sold dry, and there are a couple different ways you might wanna prepare it before adding it into your soil. One way is mixing with compost uh, in a 50-50 ratio. Uh, one way is soaking it with water for about 24 hours. Um, and all of those can help reduce erosion or keep it from blowing away.